so hi everyone so in this session we are going to discuss about of the vendor payments it is nothing but like an outgoing payments against of the purchases see when we are made a purchase from the vendor and this will be comes into the concept of the accounts payables in the accounts payables which we have made a purchase from the vendor already say for example of we have made a purchase on 01 at 12 2015 from myself is in a abc chemicals and the vendor is in a xyz and we have made a purchase from this vendor with the 20000 dollars and 50000 dollars and even 7500 dollars like that in multiples whatever we have made a purchase from the vendor it has been shown with the kr so clearly it was showing in the report with the name of kr now what i want to do that i want to make a payment for the vendor but whenever we need to make a payment the payments should be the three types of the payments will be there one is sap there is a payment documents will be the three different different types and under that the first one which we are calling this as a name standard so what is the payment document of the standard say for example of we are having the three different different types of the payments in before in between that i want to make a payment for the $50000 that means the total $50000 has been cleared at a time that means the total amount has been paid at a time that means kz kz is an a vendor payment and kr is an a invoice that means one invoice can be cleared by one payment document that's what we are calling as an a standard and the second one which we can call it as an a partial what do you mean by the partial payment so which we said that there is a three different different types of the payment processes will be there the first one is the standard and the second one is the partial so what will be happens in the partial in the sense of one invoice say for example of Fifty thousand dollars of the invoice has been cleared by the multiple of the parts. Say, for example, of one time uh, something around fifty thousand. Let's take a sending thirty thousand dollars, and this thirty thousand dollars once it has been paid with the ten thousand dollars and. after that we have paid the another $10000 and after that we have paid the again $10000 that means which we can say that one invoice amount can be cleared by one or more payment parts but all the payment parts are should be the equal that's what we can call as an a partial and the third one and the last one which we can call it as a name residual so what would be the residual in the sense of if we can say the same thing of the $30000 even i can pay the first $15000 and again $10000 and again $2000 and again $3000 like that also i can so this is called as an a residual that means when you are discussing about of anywhere about of the outgoing payments for the vendors simply we can say that there is a three types of the different different types of the payment processors will be having there the first one which we can call as an a standard and the second one which we can call as an a partial and the last one which we can call as an a residual and what would be the differences in between of the standard partial and residual say for example of the standard when we are going to clear one invoice amount against of the one payment document which we have made a purchase of one invoice and i want to make the payment of full payment at a time that was then a payment document which we can call it as an a standard even 
one invoice can be cleared in the multiple of the parts also that means say for example of one invoice will be there with a rupees of the thirty thousand dollars and what i want to say that i need to make a payment for the multiple of the parts but one thing we need to identify here all the payments parts are should be the equal so simply we can call it as an easy emis see one thirty thousand dollar of the invoice has been cleared into the multiple part of the payments that means one invoice amount can be cleared into the multiple parts and all the parts are should be the equal 10 plus 10 plus 10 even one more important condition also there in the partial is say for example of if i have made a purchase on 10 12 2015 and i am making this payment on 12 12 2015 in the report what will be happens is the invoice was not cleared it will simply showing that that for the 30000 we have made a payment of 10000 dollars and the remaining 20000 will be there that means what we can say that whenever you are paying some part of the invoice amount some part of the invoice amount again stop that payment sorry from part of the invoice amount the system will not clears the whole invoice Whenever we are paying some part of the invoice amount, the system will not clear the whole invoice, but it was reflected in the balance amount. That means after paying of the ten thousand dollars, it will be showing the twenty thousand dollars in the balance. Paid is in a ten thousand and twenty thousand is the balance. Like that again, you have paid the ten thousand dollars again on the fifteen thousand fifteen date. It will be shows that the balance is in a ten thousand dollars. Whenever we are clearing the final part, that means at the end of the day. You are going to pay all the ten thousand dollars at a time, the balance amount, which we can call as a partial. What do you mean by the partial in the sense of when we are going to clear one invoice amount in one or more payment parts, the payment parts are should be the equal, which is called as a partial. And even in this partial, when you are clearing some part of the invoice, the system will not clear the whole invoice. Whenever we are clearing the final part of the amount, then only the system will clear the complete invoice. That is called as an a partial. And the last one, which we can call it as an a residual. What would be the residual? See, one invoice amount can be cleared by the multiple parts of the payments. One invoice amount can be cleared into the multiple parts of the payment. And even when you are paying some part of the invoice amount, what will be happens is the system will clear total invoice that means for the 30000 bucks which we have paid the 15000 or uh, but the system what it is doing that it has been cleared total amount of the 30000 that means if you can paid only the 15000 it is showing that the total 30000 dollars has been done and even the remaining 15000 dollars will be coming into the new invoice that means in the residual mode when we are paying some part of the invoice amount the system will clear the whole invoice and raised a new invoice with the balance amount on that payment date that's what we can call as an a residual like that when you are making of a payment to the vendor we can make the payments by through these three different different types of the payment methods of the standard partial and residual even and doing of these positions, these procedures of the standard partial residual, even if you ask that, okay, Mr. Vijay, which you were saying that you have made a purchase of the twenty thousand dollars on the date of so and so, so and so, and even when we are going to pay for the twenty thousand dollars within the payment terms, what the system has to do, how the system will react about of that one. Let's have a look of that one also. This is what about the payments and now what I'm doing that in the second payables in between of the payments and the invoices what was happening in between of the payments and the invoices what was happening in the accounts payable which we are going to discuss about of the cash discount receive which we are going to discuss about of cash discounts received which is called as an a cd allowed or cd received cash discount received so and this 
Here totally it was not only five steps or four steps will be there. The first one, maintain terms of payments. What it was in the sense of the first thing is in a maintain terms of payments. That means what is the terms and conditions which we have discussed from the vendor. Say which we said that myself is an ABC, my vendor is an XYZ. And what we are doing that we have taken a purchase from the XYZ. But when making of a purchase, the vendor of the XYZ has been given the terms and conditions for the particular invoice. What they have given is they said that the vendor has been said that the total credit limits will be the 30 days. And even if we can pay it in this 30 days, within the 10 days, it will be the 10% of the cash discount. And even every day from the 11 to 20 days, it was any 5% of the discount. And the total credit limit will be the 30 days is in a 0%. That means when I have made a purchase on 01-12-2015 with the 50,000 euros and even I want to pay that 50,000 euros in the date of that means in between of the date of 08-12-2015 uh, even if I am entering the 50,000 50, euros of the payment also the system will not accept. Why? Because there should be a condition that within the 10 days it should be allowed the 10 percent of the discount that means how much of the amount i have to pay here in the sense of i need to pay only the 45000 euros but the remaining 5000 euros has to become as a cash discount how this cash discount will become in the sense of by this payment terms and each and every invoice can have a different different types of the payment terms that means we can't say that for every invoice the same payment terms will be applicable that's why what we have to do that we need to create the payment terms and conditions like 30 days like 45 days like 60 days like a number of payment terms we can create from here and after creation of the payment terms and conditions which i said that totally we have to pay the 50000 euros and we are going to pay the 45,000 euros then the remaining 5,000 will be the balance will be shown there what about this one in the sense of from our company side what we are saying that we need to pay the 50,000 but we are going to pay the 45,000 and the remaining 5,000 which is an a incomes forming why it was an income in the sense of I need to pay the 50,000 but I am paying 45 only the remaining 5,000 is an income for me. That's what we have to create in the ledger of the second step. That means we can say that creation of a GL for CD, cash discount received. And that should be concerned on the income side. And even after creation of the ledger, what I'm going to say that whatever the amount of the 5,000 has been came into the incomes that has to be comes into this general ledger. That means I have to pay the 50,000, I have paid the 45,000, the remaining 5,000 euros has to be comes into this particular general ledger. That's why we need to make it as a name. Maintain automatic account assignment of automatic account assignment of cash discount granted that means whatever the ledger which we have created that ledger has to be assigned for the cash discount here the cash discount terms and conditions which we can call as an a s k e what is an a s k e in the sense of it is a standard transaction type which was used in the which can be used in the sap system for the fi for cash discount receive so that means when making of any payments either it is in a standard or in the partial or in the residual what we have to do on SAP system is when making of any purchase from the vendor there should be a one more uh, one more concept which is called as an a cash discount received and thus 
cash discount received we can have the maintain terms of the payments what is the terms and conditions from the vendor and even what is the ledger for the cash discount and what is the discounts ledger has to be assigned what is the terms what is the ledger and when which ledger it has to be comes so this is what we can call it as an, a cash discount receipt after completion of this customization one posting of an invoice that means the kr one making of an a purchase invoice of the kr we need to assign this payment terms when during of an invoice and after that when making of a payment the system will automatically allows the cash discounts for this payment even if you are paying through the cash or a bank or whatever it was the system will automatically allow the cash discounts for this one so this is about of the cash discounts and even the payments for the vendors so here totally we have discussed about of the different types of the payments like as an a standard partial and residual the standard which is called as an a one invoice amount against of the one payment document partial one invoice amount against of the one or more payment documents but all the payment parts should be the equal and the last one is the residual when during of a residual one invoice amount can be cleared into the one or more parts but all the parts are should not be the equal that means there is not a mandate to maintain as an equal interest but in during of the partial payment when you are paying some part of the invoice the system will clears the the system will not clears the invoice but the amount was reflected in the partial whenever we are paying part of the invoice amount then only the invoice will be going to clear that's which is called as an a partial and even when the when we are going to the residual when i am paying when we are paying to the vendors for the one invoice amount into the multiple parts but there is no right not a rule to maintain all the parts are should be the equal but in this residual when we are clearing some part of the invoice amount the system well clears the total invoice it will be washed out complete invoice and in the same payment document number it was generating a new invoice for the balance amount with the payment date which is called as a residual in between of during of these of the payments if there is any cash discounts was allowed how the cash discounts will be allowed from the payment terms and conditions and the general ledger and even maintain account assignment and make the posting of a payment and make the pay make the posting of an invoice and make the posting of the payments then you can automatically allow the cash discounts so this is enough for this session and thank you so much